So here we have the proper day 24 and 25. I think the last video I was commentating as if it were these days. Uh, we are very close to the end of the challenge. I think we're at just under 90,000 hands. So probably end the challenge sometime this week. Day 24 was not a very good day. We started off the day very well, but we just continued getting cooled slash sucked up. Uh, it was getting kind of frustrating now. Um, but day 25 was okay. We won one buy-in. Uh, pretty average day, but having a winning day is always nice. In terms of performance, I think I played pretty well in the morning session of day 24, but played somewhat below uh, standard uh, in the afternoon. And day 25, I thought I played quite well. So a bit of a mixed performance over these last two days. And now getting into the hands. Here we have nines full, and I'm just going for the bet, bet, bet line. We do get min raise here, essentially, so we will look to get it in here. Do not think an ace is going to fold once they get this much of their stack in. And unfortunately, we get rivet in this hand. All right, so this next hand, we have aces. We open from cutoff, and we get flattered by a 50 big blind stack. Uh, against this hand, I'm going to go for the check call, check jam line on turn. Um, pretty unbalanced from my perspective. Don't really think I have that many bluffs taking this line, but um, I think I am going to get called a decent frequency from player one when I take this line. So they do, bet, bet, and we look to get it in here. Um, hoping that they have a strong 8x or some sort of overpair that flattered like 9s or 10s. They do have 8, 9 here, and unfortunately we lose this one. Next hand we have aces again, and we 3-bet. Uh, I actually think I played this hand really poorly. I'm not... I'm not really a fan of how I played the river. Anyway, I 3-bet, which is standard. Bet the flop, which is also standard. Um, and we get flattered on the flop. And the turn is not amazing. I mean, 10-8 comes there, 9-7 suited. But apart from that, no other real hands improve. I don't think they'll be defending Jack-7 suited here. So we do look to bet. I mean, they can have 7s here as well. We looked a bet, and I definitely think we should just jam the river. I'm going to have a decent amount of bluffs here, like King-10, Queen-10, 6-5. Um, We're going to have those as ha hands as primary bluffs, maybe even King-Queen. Um, so I decided to check here. I'm not... I mean, if we're looking to balance our, balance our river checking range, then obviously checking here with aces at a decent frequency seems okay. But in an on, a non pool, I think it just does better to just value jam ourselves. Fortunately, we don't lose the river street because H Jack value jams himself. And this next table, I decided to change the colors up a little bit over the last few days. Gone for the pink. Anyway, I go for that. look for a squeeze here with the king, queen of diamonds. Uh, this sounds pretty interesting. Um, so we flop a king on king five deuce. Think betting and checking here, okay. I think I'd lean towards betting with the king, queen. Um, but I think checking is okay. Turn is a queen, so now we have two pair. And when player one uses this size, they're going to have a polarized range, in my opinion. They should be betting ace of clubs or nothing. And it's really hard for player one to have an offsuit ace of clubs here, um, unless they defend like ace jack, which is like the only hand here, or they flop the nut flush. So I decided to hero off, and we are right here. So next hand, we have queen ten of clubs. We open from the cutoff. Uh, we get flattered on the button. Not sure about my turn jam on this hand. Anyway, I decided to check, which I think is pretty standard. We do have the backdoor club draw and a 10. Villain decides to use a large bet size. Um, I was thinking about leading on this turn, but I think player 5 will spaz the turn enough that I think it's profitable. Definitely, I'm going to go for the raise here, just in case they do have draws in this pool. They're just not bluffing the river enough, so raising here seems better. We do raise, and player 5 gets it in. Honestly, I don't think player 5 has that many 10x. It's more 6s full and jacks. But uh, we do run into the 10x here. So next time we have 10s, we face an extremely large 3-bet. So this player had already 3-bet me a couple of times during the zone pool uh, with this kind of size. So had a little bit of history with him. And I, so based on this and on this flop, I just saw check jamming here does best. Um... I mean, it seems okay. I'm going to have some flush draws here as well. Player 4 decides to hero me off with ace high and hits the runner runner, which is pretty frustrating. All right, so this hand, we have a little bit of run good. We have a 3-bet pot. 
uh, we decide to 3-bet from the button and uh, verse an under the gun open. Uh, play for tanks a bit, but we do avoid any cold 4-bet. Uh, on this board, I decide to bet larger. I think this our range versus their range on this exact board um, in, ex in these exact positions, um, the larger size favors. Pretty good turn. We can size down here as we have less bluffs. Um, well, we're perceived to have less bluffs. So I go for the smaller size and put most of player five's range in a tough spot on rivers. I mean, fortunately for us, I do river the spade. Spade. Uh, and we do stack ace queen. Right, so punt of the day is quite a frustrating spot. I've actually had a few of these spots in the last couple of days and it's getting a little bit ridiculous. Um, so we have a squeeze spot with ace three of diamonds. Um, expecting button to fold here a decent amount and obviously small blind to fold a lot as well. Fortunately, player one does defend and we do flop a bottom pair with a backdoor flush draw. Initial plan on the flop was to bet, uh, make this a two street game and jam on any diamond turn. So what I thought was a really good turn card for me uh, was actually not. Uh, player one actually has a pre-float with jack 10 and flop float and turn the jack and we get stacked there.